This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes. Hello and welcome back to another lesson on Canva. So in our previous lesson, I introduced you to Canva's overview and all of the settings and all of the options that we have here in Canva. All right. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the top bars. All right. Now the top bars is like this one you can see here, create a design. When you want to create, start a new project, you can actually go here and click on create a design. Then we have the settings and then we have download the app. Now I touched on this a little bit before in our first lesson. And you, there is actually an Android app, mobile app that you can use on your phone to edit things and uh, stuff. Do basically whatever you want to do on Canva. You can do it through your mobile with using the mobile app. Okay. And then we have this create design all right now the create design once we click on it you see here they're asking me if it's a document a doc file or whiteboard or video or any other thing okay so let's select the doc first now once we selected the doc you can see here there is this interface here that uh, we can use to design all right so we're gonna go back to home now So now we're going to create a design and we're going to create a design from scratch. Okay, so that's why we're going to use custom size. And once we click on the custom size, they're going to ask me the width and height of the page that we want to use. So I'm just going to give like a thousand by thousand pixels. If you want it in any other way, like millimeter, centimeter or inchy. Uh, you can. I'm just gonna use pixels and create a new design. All right. Now they're gonna create me a new design here. You can see here. This is like a 1,000 by 1,000 page. Okay. So I can actually edit anything here. Okay. Now the top bar here, the top panel here. You can see here it says home. So if I click here, it'll take me back to my home page. So we're not gonna go back to home. So we're gonna click on the file. Once I click on the file, you can see here there are a lot of options here, okay? So if I click on view settings, you can see here there are show rulers and guides, then add guides, then show margins or show print bleed, okay? So if I like deselect this one, you can see here that there are no rulers here, okay? There are this ruler here but now it's not there and if I like click on show margin the margins disappear as well and then if I like deselect this one show print bleed the print bleed will also disappear now what are these settings what are these settings now once I click on show ruler and guides you can see here this is the ruler that's appeared now we can use it to, to resize it to the proper size of this uh, page and then if I go to show margins, you can see here the margin is appearing as well. Okay. And then if I go to like show print bleed, the print bleed will also appear. Okay. So we're not going to need the print bleed right now. So I'm just going to deselect this one and I'm going to deselect the margins as well. Now the print bleed is like the once you print it, is gonna come into that size that you uh, prefer it or extend it. It's up to you once you print it. So that is the print bleed, okay? And if you want to add any text here, we can actually go to the text section here and add a heading and you'll have a heading bar here. And if I like select any heading, like any name, let's go with Frank and if I want to like change the color of this I can actually go here in the top panel here and just change the color to whatever color I want it to be all right so red pink or any other color that I want okay it's gonna be that and I can resize it I can add a subheading as well 
Axel, Frank, Sinatra. Okay, so, and then it, I can also change the color of this one as well. To any color that I want, okay? I can also change the font if I want it to be bold and if I want it to be any other font for that matter. You can just select it from here. You can also resize it. And we can also change the background of this to whatever we like. Okay. And then we can also change, let's change the font size here. And let's change it, change this one as well. Okay, so that's actually how you make a custom design, alright? And if you want to add any images, you can also add images here as well. Now, if I want to add an image to this background, I can just simply go to this option here. You can see here, upload option. And if you like add any image, upload any image here, you can just click on upload files. And then you can just take an image from your desktop and then click on open. They're going to be appearing here, okay? And you can just take any picture like, let's say this one, okay? And you can just place it anywhere in the background that you want. And you can just adjust it like this fit into the whole picture just like that and then you can just edit it from here okay like if I want to edit this one if I want to edit this one change its color to and then I can just change its font okay And then I can also add in other stuff just like if I okay that was my bad if I want to add in other stuff I can just go to the elements and get some shapes or whatever I want to add any type of thing that I want to add here I can just go to this or I can just search all right so if I want if I want a star, I can just take these stars. I can simply just take these stars and place it anywhere I want. Just place one here. Take another one. Paste it here. make this one bigger so you can edit it like that okay and then you can use it as a logo or any icon maybe a facebook icon or a youtube icon just like that now i'm just showing this for example okay i'm not actually making anything i'm just showing it how you can do it now you can see here there are a lot of pro version elements here as well like this photo 
it's a pro version this one's a pro version as well there's not this one but not this one as well this one this star it's a pro version as well you gotta have a pro account for in order to use this okay so i'm not showing you when this is in a pro account so you can actually get an overview of this whole website that how it really works and what are the benefits if you take the pro version and there are these uh, videos as well this ninja star throw okay and you don't have to it's not like that you want you can use only one star there is this red star as well and if I like take this red star right here and you can see that it's in the background right now right you can just just this and adjust it in the middle we're going to adjust these sparks a bit and yeah and then we can add more things if we want like if we go to graphics and then we don't need the star we can just type in all and then go to graphics photos videos there are also videos here okay of stars you can add them as well but most of them you can see here they're like pro all right so basically they're videos that's why they're pro and if you purchase the pro version you will obviously get all those videos for free like not for free you have to purchase the whole account then you'll get it for free right yes so that is basically the designing and you can you can see that there is this ruler here as well okay in the side and in the up now i showed you that this is because of here okay i said show rulers and if i don't it won't show any okay and then once you're done you can actually just go to share and download this all right they're going to ask you if you want it in a png or jpg file we can do that as well and downloading is really easy just click on the downloads and it will start downloading so that is basically it for the top panel and I showed you what the top panel all of these do and uh, I will see you in the next lesson and we're going to discuss about the side panels in the next lesson okay